Hi everyone, I'm Matthias. I'm founder and CEO of AI Site, and I'm very excited to be here today and give a talk about predictive maintenance and how we at AI Site help our customers to increase their machine uptime and to improve how their machines run in production. And um, first of all, I would like to give a little background, like how we actually got started with AI Site and why we are in this field. And then I would like to go a bit more into details of what we're actually doing. And then also at the end, I would like to go a little bit more into the details of our technology and um, how do we help our customers. And first of all, um, yeah, my personal background is actually in mechanical engineering. I, I used to study at ETH Zurich and then UC Berkeley. And then I spent some time in the US in a young startup, more on air quality sensors and sensor networks, um, where I worked in development. And afterwards I spent um, like some time at uh, the Porsche Digital Lab in Berlin, where I was responsible on the digitalization of production and uh, where I basically employed different kind of predictive maintenance solutions and try to integrate them into the production line at Porsche. And what I saw there was that the solutions that were present at this time, they were actually, they had like a few shortcomings and especially in the field of predictive maintenance, there's kind of two, two, two different types of solutions. There's either these very complex, um, like let's say high accuracy sensors, but they are super complex. And then there's the, this very low accuracy sensors that, but they only do like a very like a uh, high level analysis that is not really giving deep insights into the machines. And what I actually uh, encountered at Porsche was that um, the, especially the, the equipment that we also try to integrate is usually like super long and difficult to integrate into the production lines. This is due to, um, let's say more the, the old school technology. Um, then on the other side, uh, also the integration takes often so long that even like we spend like months or like for some re for some some people it's even in projects that they spend more like several years in in integrating such solutions and then this obviously makes um, these solutions extremely expensive on one side the sensors they can easily cost like a few thousand euros and then the projects if you think of all the integration time and the setup time this often goes into the millions and then this also often means that if the projects are so expensive in predictive maintenance that customers usually the they they have like several months until they see an roi from a typical predictive maintenance solutions or sometimes it's even years or sometimes never because let's say if you if you try to monitor an, an, an equipment as a customer and your equipment is not that critical then it's often not even justifying all the costs that you have for typical predictive maintenance solutions. And this was for me actually like the, the motivation to say, okay, there should actually be a solution that is really, really easy to use and that exactly addresses these problems. So it's easy to use, it's super fast to integrate, it's really cheap and in the end for the customer, there's an immediate ROI. And this is why we started AI set as a company and um, in general, like we said, for us, the major problem we are trying to solve is that we are trying to reduce unplanned downtimes and inefficiencies because they are actually roughly accounting for 20% of the total production costs. And worldwide, this is roughly around 440 billion US dollars. And for example, at a typical automotive company, um, one hour of breakdown, for example, costs them 2.9 million US dollars. And then, what we do at AI side to solve this issue is we build our easy to use um, sensor kit. The sensor kit includes um, a vibration, temperature and magnetic field sensors. And the sensor, it's so easy to use. You can just plug it onto a machine. It takes around like two to three minutes. And then based on the sensor data that we are recording, we have a chip on the device that is doing the full analysis of the machine that is understanding what is the current state of the machine are there any abnormal behaviors? Is the machine changing over time? And then if the machine is actually changing, we are also able to do like a full analysis of the machine and it understands what is the root cause of a problem. So it also, for example, if you have like a typical equipment, like an electric motor, 
the sensor identifies, okay, is here like a, a bearing fault existing? Is here like an imbalance? Is there another type of, of, of problem on the machine? And then based on the, on the type of error that we are identifying, we can also see what is the state of the error and is it developing over time? And then if this is the case and if it is developing over time, we are also able to say, okay, like how much time roughly can we, uh, do we have left until the machine will completely break down? And then this really helps the customer to better plan their maintenance, better improve their quality control processes and, and help like to really improve on these kind of problems. And if you, if you, if you ask yourself, how this, does this actually work? Um, first of all, we have the sensor. We just plug it onto a machine. It's like a, a typical add-on solution. It's uh, taking around two to three minutes to install. And then it, it sends if in case there's like an abnormal behavior identified, it sends the data from the sensor over Wi-Fi of the production or LTE uh, to the cloud. And then from the cloud, there's uh, basically um, it comp you can you can log into a dashboard and you can see all the all the all the different machines. You can get like a full overview and understand what are what are the issues, um, which machine has a problem, and then also if the machine has a problem, what exactly are the root causes of the problem. And what we what I mentioned at the very beginning is that one of the biggest problem with current solution was that they are extremely long to integrate and complex. So for us, one of the core parts we are focusing on is to make our solution as easy as possible to use. So this means a sensor can be installed on a machine in roughly two to three minutes. So we can either like just plug it on with a magnet, we can screw it in or we can glue it in. Um, and then after like two to three minutes, um, we, can, we can configure the sensor with our AI set app. So there's like no IT or server setup required and you just connect the sensor like a Sonos uh, music box, you connect it to the internet and that's the entire setup that you have to do. And then on the other side, what is making the whole solution very fast to get an ROI as a customer is that we build pre-trained models for specific machine types. And this means um, we, for example, have a, we have a, like a machine, like a pump, and we already know the typical failures like, um, a cavitation, bearing faults or other problems. And then we use this pre-trained model. And when we go to the customer, we just install the sensor on the machine. And from the installation until we can get like the first insights, we take around two to three days of data. And then we can already get like an initial assessment. What is the current state? Are there already these problems that I just mentioned? And then if there are no problems, we can start training a model that's saying, okay, um, here's like a change or an anomaly happening, or there's like a, like a, a root cause happening. And so this means for our customers that on average, like after two to three days after installation, they can already have the first value from the solution and therefore like an immediate ROI from their solution. And through this, what is possible, this is, um, one example at our customer that is in the textile industry. There, for example, we installed roughly 73 sensors in one day and we brought the entire production online in less than a day and only after three days the customer already had like complete overview of all the states of them of, 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 of his machines and he could already see that two of the machines already had a typical uh, bearing fault and in this specific case it was special types of bearings and and this uh, for them was like an extremely important and valuable information because the usual delivery time of these bearings is around one to two weeks. So if the machine fails and then you have to order the machines, you have a breakdown of like one to two weeks. So in this case, three days after um, installing the solution, the customer basically paid back the entire cost for the solution for one entire year and therefore had an immediate ROI of the solution. And um, the solution, it doesn't only work for rotating equipment, it also works for way more complex processes such as injection molding or plastic extruders. And what you can see here is um, the sensors installed on an injection molding tool. And then on the, on the bottom right side, you can see the vibration data in real time. And even for these processes that are not constant processes, but that are like close opening, closing, 
um, you can see the injection flow. And then for even these processes, we can identify um, if ejector pins are properly lubricated, if there's a core break inside um, the injection molding tool, if the injection molding part was properly uh, produced or if it has any quality issues. And therefore we can even go a lot further than just a typical predictive maintenance. And we can even identify uh, the quality of parts and therefore even optimize quality control processes, production processes, and a lot more than a typical predictive maintenance solution. And all of the information um, that we are recording, they are um, then transferred to our AI set dashboard. And what you can see here is um, you have like your organization, you have like, you can uh, register different areas and different buildings. And then you can see an overview of different systems inside the buildings. And you can see, for example, here, like a system which consists of 11 machines. You see all of the machines, they're in a good state and there are 11 sensors online here. And then customers can also go deeper inside and get like an idea. Okay, so for example, there's a machine that changed from a good to a warning and probably is going towards like a critical state. And um, let's say if there's like these kind of behaviors, um, then in the background, there's running all of these root cause detection models that identify, okay, what is, what is actually the reason? It's, and what is the reason for this problem? Is it like a bearing fault? Is it, is it a cavitation? And then in case there is an issue and we identify that a machine is changing or there's a, a fault developing, then customers get notified via email or via SMS or over the dashboard and they get like an exact, um, an exact state of what to do. So basically they get an idea like the vibration level is increased um, and we have, we have detected, for example, a bearing fault and with this typical bearing fault, you have around three months left until the machine will fail. And therefore you get like uh, all the insights that are necessary in order to know what to do and how to improve maintenance. And then from the typical equipment that we are um, working with, we are in different fields. Uh, so we can really apply our technology in, in, like in, in quite a different uh, range of use cases. So we are working a lot with rotating equipment um, like motors, pumps, compressors, and fans. We are working with plastic extruders and injection molding machines. We are in the wind industry and we are also doing big projects um, on CNC machines in order to identify the spindle state and also the tool state of a CNC machine. And to go a little bit more into detail, like how this actually works and what is the, what is the, the architecture in the background. Um, on one side, like this, the sensor itself, it produces data. Um, then we have like a whole data handling and data processing where we, where we extract different features. And then we have all kinds of different models running, um, like this root cause analysis, degradation models, ISO models, and different machine data that is coming in. And then in the background, we have different kind of machine learning and AI models that are on one side, uh, being trained for diagnostics, but also in order to predict the, the future and to understand like how long is it until the machine will fail and what is like the trend of the machine. And then obviously in the background, we have all the visualization, which goes um, over a dashboard, over, over the phone or just over API if customers, uh, for example, want to use their own systems. And then from these kind of visualization tools, we also get uh, feedback from our customers in order to improve the models. And mm, to give, go a bit more into details of what is happening in the background, there's actually a lot of different things happening. Um, on one side, there's like um, the very typical ISO analysis, which is um, an analysis which gives like a general overview of the, of the levels of the machine. And this gives like a rough indication of the state. And you can kind of categorize between good warning and critical state. Um, then there is um, like an anomaly detection uh, running. So once we basically installed the sensors and we, we, we identified that there's no typical root causes happening on the machine. So they are like no bearing faults or the machine is completely fine. Then we train an anomaly model, um, which is then like the typical normal state. And then the anomaly detection runs on many different parameters, such as vibration, different kind of features that we are having temperature, the magnetic field sensors. And then all of this together gives like an idea if a machine is anomalous. And to give an example, 
it doesn't only have to be an anomaly that the vibration changes, but it can also be an anomaly if, um, let's say, a customer uses the machine abnormal. If there's like uh, usually the machine being or like uh, being used at a different time than usual, this can also be an anomaly. And so this is actually quite powerful if you if you bring in together different different things on top of the sensor data. And this makes this uh, whole model very powerful. And then on top, um, in the background, we are also doing um, like the root cause detection of failures. And the basic idea behind here is that every fault um, that is happening on a machine um, that has like a specific type of vibration signature. And if you look at a rotating equipment, the, t the most common failures that are happening are bearing faults and then also imbalances and misalignments on pumps, it's for example, cavitation. And then each of them has this specific signature. And from our general models that we built in the past and that we basically already recorded a lot of data from, from customers over the last few years, we are then able to re-identify these, uh, these, these signatures. So let's say if the machine um, has a failure, it will have the signature again. And then we use, um, we use a typical machine learning model um, with a supervised learning approach and we, we then re-identify the failures again. And this is the general idea behind the, the root cause analysis that is also running. And then the last point is the estimation of the remaining useful life. And the idea here is we know roughly like when a machine goes to a critical level, we know how is the trend evolving. We know the machine model. We have like an idea of how is the machine, how did it behave in the past? We know what type of equipment it is. We know what is the load. And then from the trend we are having, we can give an estimation uh, with a certain probability um, when the machine is going to fail. And this is already really, really helpful because this way customers can way better plan their maintenance. They can way better prioritize and this way also have a lot better, uh, a lot better um, forecast of how, how, how the production will behave in the future. And uh, to go like a little bit into a small case study, what you see here is typical rotating equipment. We have four pumps here and at this customer, we installed um, more than 70 sensors. Um, in less than a day. So we brought the entire production online, as I mentioned before. And for this customer, we were able after three days to identify already two bearing faults and gave the customer therefore an ROI of around three days, which I think for a typical predictive maintenance solution, this is really unseen in the field. And um, we were able to really save this customer around 25,000 euro after three days. And this is, uh, this is really what we're doing and this is really our focus to, to make it possible to get predictive maintenance really into the production and make it really usable and create real value for customers very quickly. Yeah, thanks a lot for your attention. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please contact me. I'm really, really happy to, to, to have any kind of discussions, to have calls. And thanks a lot for giving me also the chance today here. Um, very glad I was here. Thank you.